No, Billy's been holding off making that bow. 18. Well, question is, do we also have a Necro? And did I bring the bird is always another question. Seems like the answer to the bird is yes, surprisingly. Is a Necro. One fallen hero. Three guys. Well, this is one of the things I want to watch. And I meant to do this last fight and forgot, chat. Maybe you guys can help me with this. Next time we take a fight where we're using Billy, can we watch his damage? He has a lot of action efficiency, and that makes me happy on some level. As like a min-maxer gamer, I like that he does... Uh, like, he switches weapons and uses every last action point. And if his build is high enough damage, maybe it's worth doing. If he's out damaging two-handers, like, having a backline feels like it ought to be useful. Because one of the things I eventually got a little frustrated with with Battle Brothers is the builds started being very similar and a little bit one-dimensional. And finding things like the Blueberry Hunter makes my, like, makes my gaming experience so much better. Makes me so much happier about it. never quite know where to position the Blueberry Hunter. They almost need to be in the back rank, like middle. Look at this guy, he's wearing that hat with the fucking bling necklace. Oh man. I do like the fashion accessories Nimble gets. This guy's already gone, right? Yeah. So how do we get to the blueberries?
hide behind the tree for a minute. He's gonna be such a pain in my ass, isn't he? You go towards him. I'm just gonna wait. Damage there. I think we can just get on these guys now. So I'm just going to stand there for a turn. I was considering getting Berserk on uh, the Blueberry Hunter this time around. A lot of resurrections. Much for your hat. Oh. He's like right in my way. I need like a ability to like jump over him. Scary. Oh. Don't really wish to be hit by this thing again. I want to get to these guys. There's no way I can do that. It's like three to move every single time. I could just walk away from it. Walk there. Disengage, disengage, walk there. It's like a billion stamina. It only got me that far, too. Awkward. Wasn't worth it. We have mace spec here, right? Yes. 
None of that shit. Didn't rally here. No one next to him, so it's not a big deal, but still kind of annoying. Making sure we absolutely get no armor from him ever. Necrotus broke. It's good and bad. It means these zombies are no longer bound to him, which means the zombie will run over here and sit on my archer, which is not okay. So I'm, I guess I'm not sure what the good part of that is yet. Oh, he didn't. He's still guarding. How does behavior change when the necro breaks? month of subbing. Much appreciated. I want like confirmed blueberry kills on him. Can we track this chat? Do we know how many he has? I'll just keep it in his uh, his number. How many blueberries he's actually killed seems very relevant. I think I want uh, Berserk on him as well. Not Berserk, uh, Killing Frenzy rather. So free sub. Well, I appreciate that. Is it time? I think it's time. Wait. Yes. Yes. Stage coach. Hey, Eric Thanks for the sub. Picked up some plus 40 deal gear. That's not bad. The rest of this is pretty junk. We didn't take too much damage for it. Clearing out camps is good stuff. A new subscriber arrives. It fills you with determination. Shot Danta. Thanks for the sub. Welcome. All right. Bannerman's very happy. Another level up on David Corporeal. Don't want a one there. I ignore one melee attack to get fatigue and resolve. That would be resolve 50, which is pretty sick on a frontliner. I'm not sure that was right or not, but I did it. I really dislike um, missing attack upgrades. It's a bad roll. Bad roll.
Build me a cart. All right, so this guy's only around, only around long enough to build me a cart. So make sure he has cart stats. Level up on Quadrophrenic. Excellent. Nice roll there. 52, 71. It's too bad the stam roll wasn't better, but we'll take it. Uh, this is going to be our axe spec. Still don't know about reach advantage. This is definitely axe spec, though. What can you call him? You call him a winger. That's kind of what he is, right? Goes up the wing, beats shit out. Seems like a reasonable designation. So he's also our one of our heaviest fatigue guys, heaviest stamina guys. So it's a little bit awkward to have him not in the center, where he can be spamming indomitable. But really didn't want it with this accuracy. If it was in a perfect world where you get all the stats of your guys known to you at level 1, I think this guy would be a sword guy in the middle. Just because he could stand there spamming Indomitable while still getting his double attacks off, but it's not the case here. And I think we have reach advantage, reach advantage, reach advantage. I think I'm going to just take uh, Killing Frenzy on him. So much damage on the axe. Okay. To avoid these spiders, because fuck spiders. I think these are bandits, we don't know for a fact. The only other thing we've seen is a bandit horde that got wiped out by spiders. We already killed the undead one. I'm gonna roll, I'm gonna speculate that that's bandits and go into it there. Different lineup for bandits. Bring the mega back in. Need frontliners here. Blueberry Hunter's almost 11. So the other things we could take here, we could do a defensive perk. So the build that we're looking at calls for Gifted plus Colossus. But what if instead of Gifted, although I would love to have the extra stat points, what if we ended up taking Colossus plus uh, Berserk? Uh, uh, plus Berserk? Because then we could do things like kill a geist, pop recover, which seems pretty damn good. All right, uh, but he's not in this fight. We just want archers here. Can bring real Kapa here to keep him happy. Tombulus can definitely grab a. Set of gear, get on the front line. See if Stam is swinging axe. He does. Oh, that's exciting. All right, leveling, 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 leveling. Same. Drop the Bannerman. Just run all archers here. Seems decent. Okay. Everyone except Billy is going to be happy about this arrangement, I believe. And right, let's get in there. Yeah, it could be undead. If it's undead, we'll have to back up. Ah, so fucking annoying. I don't think I can fight guys without my Bannerman or my Blueberry Hunter. So we're just going to run from this and then redeploy. This is a, one of the annoying things about this game for scouting, right? Like, why don't they just let me know what's in the thing so I can choose my appropriate build up? Why do I have to have do this occasionally? I don't want to back up. It's just boring.
When I get further enough away, I'll auto retreat. I have to be careful if there's a necro. If there's a necro and cast buffs, then it's an issue. It's kind of a nasty camp. I can see at least two fallen heroes, at least three guys. There's 24 total dudes. Could very easily be a necro. Yeah, the thing about the auto retreat command chat is it doesn't do very well with elevation and it doesn't do very well if uh, another fallen hero. I think there's no necro, but there's five guys. Okay, I think we can just run from here though. Just the auto retreat isn't super good at uh, pathing multiple guys, especially when there's uh, terrain they have to path through. They just have a tough time making it very efficiently. So if there's something that is close to as fast as you or faster than you, like a necro buff zombie, you can sometimes lose guys from it. We've already done that once and had to uh, ult F for it. So I think it's a good feature because it makes this less tedious, but this is still a tedious mechanic. Why don't you just give us a scouting mechanic? That'd be much better. Why running? Because I'm not set up properly for this. I set up to fight bandits for maximum uh, greed on leveling. And I need to bring two-handers and uh, resolve characters in on this. Basically, I have no rallies. We're fighting guys. see that longer so I can see the guys okay. 200 gold per scout run that doesn't seem good I don't want to pay gold for scouting how about I just get some characters I can see in the fucking thing I mean we follow tracks for every other portion of the game is me staring at the mini map following tracks that are identifiable by their tracks we can't tell by scouting an area what's in it, it seems dumb all right he's pouty why is he all pouty felt useless in reserve they retreated Happy to have a bro and Billy uh, CCFC. All right. So, um, all right. Archer's out. Banner's in. Blueberry in. Blueberry needs a better hat. We're going to be fighting, uh, Stuff that really benefits to have hammers in. Archers out. Swords in. Archers out. No necro. Uh, get our axe in. This is 12 right now. All of our guys who need to level. Can I leave this many uh, other dudes out? Can I be greedy enough in the leveling, in other words? I'd like to be greedy in leveling. Uh, one of these needs to come to the front line, I think, or the back line, rather. 79. 84. Where's my bill hook? There it is. I'll probably pull two of them, the back lines, honestly. Alright. Looks pretty good. Alright. Got our 12. Got our plan. This guy needs a trinket. Resolve, 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 resolve. Good. Got a bird. Everyone's armor not totally shit. We 
We have reserves that are better than this, probably. 285. Okay. Looks good. Let's do it. Got a 250 helm here. That should be assigned. Uh, on who? Probably there. Anyone wearing under 215? Or 150, but on a guy who's leveling. All right. Appropriate shields, couple two-handers, a lot of back rank DPS, a lot of guys here whose goal is just to get more levels out of this. Let's bust the camp. Go, go, go. 